In our busy world, where noise and talk are always present, the art of silence has been lost. But what if the times we choose not to speak were just as strong as the times we do? How often do we stop and think about what our quiet means? Stoicism is an old idea that helps people learn to control their emotions and thoughts. It's a great way to figure out when to speak up. Zeno, the father of Stoicism, said, It's better to trip with your feet than with your tongue. This wise saying makes me think of a simple question. How often have we felt bad about saying something in a hurry or out of anger? Stoicism doesn't just tell us not to do things. It also tells us to use silence as a tool for growth and peace. Imagine going through life's challenges, knowing that your silence speaks louder than any words could ever hope to. Stoic philosophy teaches that silence isn't just not speaking. It's a deeply felt response that has been carefully chosen. It's an active, powerful force, a plan that can help us understand each other, settle arguments and stay safe. But when should we embrace silence together? As we go deeper into these lessons, we'll find out nine key times when choosing silence is not only smart, but also life-changing. Think about how stubborn silence might change the way you deal with other people and your own mental health. What if you could end a hot argument with quiet, careful silence instead of angry words? What could a quiet break mean? Help you talk about how you feel and what you think. Join us as we look for the tough times to be quiet and let the knowledge of Stoicism lead us. Are you ready to learn more about the deep knowledge of Stoicism? Please leave a comment before you go. Number 1. When being criticized unfairly Stoic philosophy says that being unfairly criticized is a one-of-a-kind chance to get stronger and show integrity. These are the key ideas behind this old knowledge. Marcus Aurelius, the king, once said that if something outside of you bothers you, it's not the thing itself that hurts you, but the way you think about it. He also said that you can always change the way you think about something. Thinking about this. How might changing how you see criticism make you stronger? Can you think of a time when staying calm in the face of unfair criticism changed the outcome? For example, if you are in charge of a project at work and your boss criticizes it harshly, a stoic response would be to calmly look at the feedback and find useful insights while ignoring any negative information that isn't based on facts. Epicus said that if you do things this way, you will not only keep the peace, but also keep your professional honor. Don't talk about your theory. Live it here to live by philosophy. You should reply with calm, well-thought-out answers instead of defensive ones. If someone is unfairly criticizing you, you shouldn't react. This isn't just a passive thing to do, it's a smart thing to do if you want to follow stoic advice and focus on what you can control, your responses and attitudes. This quiet strength turns a possible conflict into a sign of your personal strength and intellectual commitment as you go through the hard parts of life. Think about how silence can help you and what might happen if you choose to be quiet or speak out of the blue. How might this practice not only make you feel better, but also have an impact on those around you? By applying stoic principles to our daily lives, especially when we are unfairly criticized, we align ourselves with a philosophy that values character strength over the temporary approval of others. This encourages personal growth and encourages others to do the same, which is especially important in today's world where boasting and self-promotion often drown out humility. Stoicism says to be open to quiet and the wise don't waste time arguing about what a good man should be like. Be one. In this light, think about how silence in response to boasts can turn a possibly ego-driven space into one for self-reflection and growth. Life will always have criticism, and it can be a good way to learn and get better. But criticism isn't always fair, even when it's meant to hurt someone. When this happens, it can be hard to stay calm and do the right thing. 
Stoicism is an idea that has its roots in ancient Greece. Stoic ideas on how to deal with rude criticism, with class and grace, that never goes out of style. Bad things can be used to make us stronger and better people. The Stoic principle says that how you respond to things is more important than what they are. Big Toe, what took place? Think about what to say before you speak up when someone criticizes you wrongly. This will help you avoid acting on the spot and give you time to calm down without getting angry. As the Stoic said, take the criticism off of yourself. You are in charge of your mind, not the outside world. Know this and you will be strong. Aristotle said, if anyone can prove and show me that I think and act in error, I will gladly change it, for I seek the truth. This is what Marcus Aurelius meant by unfair feedback. It only shows how the reviewer feels or what they think, not how good you are or what you can do. You can see the criticism more clearly if you separate it from who you are. Marcus Aurelius, if you do this, even the most unfair opinion might have some truth to it. Check to see if there is any helpful feedback buried in the unfairness. A wise person once said, use this as a chance to get better and get rid of the negative thoughts that aren't necessary. Do some research on what you're saying before you say it. If someone criticizes you wrongly, stay calm and polite. This shows that you are strong and in charge, and it also keeps things from getting worse. It's often best to give a cool answer, because it shows that you are an adult who cares about their own growth. If you want to be a good man, don't waste time fighting about what that means. Action by Marcus Aurelius Stop focusing on unfair criticism and turn your attention to your goals and personal growth. By focusing on your own growth and ideals, you can rise above the bad things that happen and keep going on your path. Dealing with unfair criticism can be tough, but if you follow stoic principles, you can use these times to grow and get stronger. Remember to take a moment to think, separate the criticism from your own worth, Look for any sliver of truth and respond with coolness and respect. This way, you stay true to the stoic ideal of staying calm and strong inside, even when things are tough outside. Number two, stoic silence in the middle of boasts. Let's say you're at a networking event and a coworker is too proud about their recent raises and fancy lifestyle. You might want to counter their arrogance with what you've done. Stoicism shows us how important it is to hold back. If you stay quiet, you can keep your cool and let other people's words show you who they are. This way, you can save your energy for more in-depth talks. This way not only keeps your honor safe, but it also makes you look like you're proud of what you've done and don't need anyone else's approval. Theory quiet is not a sign of passivity. It is a sign of strategic silence, which means you know what you're talking about and are sure of yourself. Another way. To avoid being outnumbered by greater benefits, Stoic says that one shouldn't return one benefit with another, but many at once. In real life, this means that you shouldn't respond to empty boasts with words, but with the quiet grace of your actions and the quality of your character. How often do you respond to someone else's success story with your own? What might happen if you chose to listen, fully acknowledging their accomplishments with a nod or a smile, while keeping your attention on your own virtues and goals? Getting silent. Being quiet in the middle of boasts is a way to live a life that isn't based on competition, but on happiness and inner success. It provides an environment where people can thrive peacefully and successfully based on their own genuine self-worth rather than comparisons. Please think about this lesson and use what you've learned in your daily life. How could being quiet improve your relationships and life? Please write your thoughts and stories below and let's work together to make each other's lives happier, 
more peaceful and more effective. Number 3. When dealing with anger. Some people say that being angry is like being in a wild storm that can wash away all sense and calm. But in the middle of this storm, Stoic philosophy offers a safe place to be, a moment of silence that helps us deal with these strong emotions. Epicurus, a famous Stoic philosopher, said to be quiet most of the time and only speak up when you have to. Now imagine a day at work when a co-worker's mistake causes you hours of extra work. Your first instinct might be to lash out in anger, but what would happen if you chose silence instead? By not reacting in anger, you give yourself time to think about the situation more objectively. This pause can stop the conflict from getting worse and lead to constructive solutions instead of heated arguments. How often has acting quickly out of anger made you wonder what might be different if you took a moment to calm down before you spoke? Marcus Aurelius, who was also a famous Stoic, wrote books with advice. What happens after someone gets angry? This makes us think about what happens after they lose their temper. Most of the time, what happens after they lose their temper is worse than what made them angry in the first place. Nelson Mandela was a famous leader who, even though he had been jailed for years, chose to forgive his abusers instead of getting angry. This decision not only made his own life better, but it also led to reconciliation in his country. For example, choosing silence when you're angry doesn't mean hiding your feelings. It means choosing a response that is in line with your best self. This practice not only makes your own peace, but also leads to better relationships and a more successful life as you deal with the inevitable frustrations of daily life. Remember that silence can be your sanctuary, a place where wisdom rules. Adopt it, and you may find that the quiet response is not only the deepest, but also the strongest. Focusing on self-control is a good way to learn how to control your anger in Stoicism. You can figure out the cause with clear thinking and mental peace. You should look at your triggers to find out what makes you mad. Is it a person, a place, or an event? Think about yourself. When things really bother you, think about why. Our ideas and assumptions about things often play a big role in how well we accept them. You can't change the things that happen in the outside world, but you can change how you handle them. Practice being aware. Stay focused on the present instead of worrying about the past or the future. Do deep breathing exercises to calm your mind and body when you're angry. Pause and think before you speak up. Think about what will happen if you do something. Change your point of view. To show empathy, try to see things from the other person's point of view. Seeing things from their point of view can also help you feel less angry. Change the way you see it. Think about how a Stoic philosopher would see it. Would they think it was unimportant or important? Focus on solutions instead of dwelling on the problem. Think of good ways to deal with it. Make your emotions stronger. Learn to control yourself and remind yourself that you can decide how to respond. Have patience and self-control. Learn to separate your emotions from what's happening. Take a step back and look at it without your own bias. This will help you feel better inside. Work out, write in a book, or meditate are all things that can help you deal with your feelings. Deal with your anger in a good way. Instead of being angry, use your energy to do something. Do things that will help you, like going to the gym or making art. Be patient and grow. When you're angry, use it as a chance to learn more about yourself and change how you react in the future. How to speak well. Talk about how you feel without getting hostile or angry. Getting to the bottom of your anger by practicing awareness and shifting your point of view can turn it into a good force that helps you and your relationships. Making your mind stronger and learning how to deal with your anger in a healthy way, stick to what Stoicism says if you want to find peace within yourself and live a healthy, peaceful life. Number 4. 
Silence amidst unfounded rumors. Stories spread quickly when people talk to each other. If these rumors aren't true, they can hurt people and make things messy. Stoicism gives us a strong answer. Be quiet. For example, there was a teacher in a small town who was wrongly accused of misconduct. As rumors spread through the community, the teacher didn't add to the tension by denying or explaining what happened. Instead, she stood firm on her honesty and integrity. This silence is not a passive way to give up, it is a wise choice. Marcus Aurelius said that you can only control your thoughts and not what happens in the outside world. Know this and you'll be strong. How often have we seen sharp words make things worse? How might staying quiet protect you from false accusations? By not saying anything, the teacher let the community's original excitement die down. As time went on and no new evidence came to light, the truth became her defense. Stoics believe that you should think about things you can change, like your reactions and actions, instead of things you can't change, like how stories spread. Epictetus once said that if someone says something bad about you, you should always compliment them. This counterintuitive approach says that responding to negativity with positivity, or in this case silence, can stop and change the course of unproductive interactions. In your own life, think about how important it is to wait to respond to stories until the storm passes. Remember that living by the standard is the best way to keep your peace and good name. When things like this happen, you don't preach by fighting every word. Staying quiet isn't just a way to keep yourself safe. It's also a way to show that you follow stoic principles. So, as you deal with the problems in your personal and business relationships, let stoic silence guide you through the chaos of false information. Number 5. How to deal with loss. How do you handle the complete silence that comes after a big loss? People often feel sad and confused after losing someone they love, but Stoicism has a unique way of dealing with pain. For example, C.S. Lewis, a famous author who wrote about his grief after losing his wife in the book A Grief Observed, says, The pain I feel now is the happiness I had before. This is a very Stoic way of thinking. Stoics believe that our experiences are part of a bigger natural flow of life and that loss and love will always go hand in hand. Seneca, a famous Stoic philosopher, says that the day we think will be our last is actually the birthday of eternity. What might you do differently if you see lost as a change instead of an end? What could you gain by letting yourself feel the silence that comes after a loss? After Lewis's death, he didn't try to fill the silence with explanations or other things to do. Instead, he used it to think deeply about his feelings and thoughts, showing the stoic belief that hardships can be used to make you stronger. Keeping a calm mind can help someone deal with deep emotional pain and turn it into a deep understanding of how fragile life is. Beauty. After a loss, being quiet isn't a way to hide or ignore what happened. It's a way to give yourself time to calm down, think, and move on. Find meaning beyond the pain you're feeling right now. This means letting your feelings run their course without ending them prematurely. Reflective silence can help you deal with grief in the future by making you think about how you've dealt with losses in the past. How might this method change your healing and the healing of those around you? Please share your thoughts and experiences with loss, as well as how stoic practices may have changed your path. What lessons have you learned and how has silence helped you get better? In the comments, let's talk about it and get better. Death is one of the hardest things to deal with. It's hard to be sad and grieve when you lose something important in your life, like a loved one, a job, or a big chance. Stoicism is an old idea that was first put forward by Zeno of Citium in Athens. Classic tips on how to handle these tough times. Even if we've lost something very important, 
being calm and strong can help us get through it. Understand and accept how you feel. It's important to know and accept how you feel after losing someone. Stoicism teaches us that it's okay to feel things when bad things happen in life. One thing you can do is let yourself cry and feel the pain without blaming yourself. It can help to write in a notebook or talk to a trusted friend about how you feel. The Stoic theory says that we should let go of things we can't change and focus on the things we can. To put this into practice, figure out what you can change, like how you deal with the loss, and let go of the things you can't change. As explained, see the loss as a chance to get better. Socrates Think about how every problem can be used as a chance to learn and get better. For example, if you lose something, think about what you can learn from it that will make you smarter or more loving. Step 1. Being thankful can help you stop thinking about what you've lost and start thinking about what you still have. Every day, write down a few things you're grateful for. This can help you see things differently and calm down. Get help and join a group. It's important to have a group and help each other through hard times, as Stoicism says. Talk to family, friends or support groups. You can feel better and less alone when you talk about your problems with other people. Dealing with loss is never easy, but the Stoic ideas can help us be strong and resilient. When we're going through the pain of loss, it can help to recognize our feelings, focus on what we can control and change our point of view. They can help us heal and grow if we choose to use them. Be thankful and ask for help. Number 6. Navigating Ignorance with Stoic Grace Have you ever met someone whose actions show they don't understand, but whose opinion is as strong as if they were an expert? This is a good time to practice being patient, even though it's hard. Grace Galileo, the famous scientist who pushed heliocentrism during a time when most people believed in geocentrism, is a great example of how to deal with ignorance. He met fierce opposition and was even put under house arrest for it. Galileo stuck to his honor and his commitment to the truth, even when people made false charges or were just plain stupid. Stoicism tells us that we can only change how we react, not what other people do. During his time as Emperor of Rome and Stoic philosopher, Marcus Aurelius said, You have power over your mind, not over outside events. Realizing this will make you stronger. Think about using this point of view the next time you deal with someone who is wrong. How could you change how you react if you knew you could? Galileo's silence wasn't a sign of weakness. It was a strong statement of his honesty and belief in what he had found. He knew that truth doesn't need to be backed up by words, but can stand firm on its own merits over time. This approach is similar to the Stoic idea of focusing on one's own actions and accepting that others' beliefs are outside of one's control. Being gracious means knowing the limits of your power and picking your fights carefully. It means being patient, pliant and understanding. Even when things are frustrating, this practice not only leads to a peaceful and happy life, but it also helps you see things with a bigger picture that focuses on long-term respect and success instead of short-term vindication. Think about how silence can be a graceful reaction to stupidity in your own life how might this method improve your relationships and your own health? Let Galileo's story motivate you to practice stoic silence, turning possibly happy situations into chances for inner peace and personal growth. Number 7. How to deal with rumors You must have been the subject of many stories in your life. It's normal to feel uncomfortable when whispers get louder as they go around, but staying quiet can change the situation. There was a community leader whose work to protect the environment led to false rumors about her personal gain. Instead of responding to each rumor, she kept her attention on her work, remembering Marcus Aurelius's words, the best revenge is to be unlike him who hurt you. 
This leader's choice to stay silent and continue her advocacy let her actions speak louder than any rumor. Her behavior shows an important stoic idea. We are the ones who make outside events bother us. How would your life be different if you ignored stories and kept quiet? Epictetus tells us to fix ourselves if it's a lie. What strength could you gain by choosing not to explain and to keep going on your road if someone says bad things about you and it's true? This smart leader not only kept the peace, but she also told her people to laugh at the lies to get past them. People who didn't believe in her slowly lost faith, but her calm demeanor and unwavering dedication showed that peace and quiet can help you keep your self-respect. Today, this story shows how stoicism can be used by showing how our responses to false information can either fuel the fire or put it out. It also shows that silence is not a passive choice, but an active and powerful way to let our lives and results show what kind of person we are. When you hear rumors, think about this approach. How can stoic silence help you stay cool and focused? How might it change the way people see you over time? Please share your thoughts and experiences with dealing with rumors in the area below. What have you learned from these events and how has being quiet helped you get through them? Someone might be able to use your thoughts to get where they want to go. Rumors can hurt your reputation, cause a lot of stress and make things more confusing. It's important to find effective ways to handle talk in this fast-paced world. Stoic philosophy has timeless lessons that teach us how to remain calm. When we have problems, we need to stay calm and rational. When you hear stories, it's important to keep your emotions in check. If you react quickly or strongly, it can make things worse and give the stories more weight. Instead, try to keep your emotions in check and look at the problem without bias. Before you answer, take a deep breath and tell yourself that what other people think doesn't define your worth. To stay relaxed, do things that help you relax, like mindfulness or meditation. Make things clear and find out the truth. A lot of stories start with unclear ideas or facts. Don't believe them at face value. Instead, find out the truth. Find reliable sources and correct information to learn more about the story. Talk to trustworthy individuals who can give you more details before making a choice. Ask questions and seek proof. This helps you act based on facts rather than guesses. Plan what you're going to do before you do it. How you respond to a story can have a big impact on how true it is. If you act without thinking, you might get something wrong and spread the story even more. Instead, act carefully and with a plan. If you need to respond to a rumor, do so in a calm and accurate way. Sometimes it's best to be quiet or speak slowly. Pay attention to your actions and personality. The best way to fight fake rumors is to show that you are a good person over time. Be honest and show what kind of person you are by doing good things in everything you do. The more you act the same way over time, the less likely it is that false stories are true. Socrates says to let go of things you can't change and focus on the things you can. It doesn't matter what other people think. The second group is other people's stories and thoughts about you. Remember that you can't change what other people say or think. Focus on what you do and how you think. Love yourself and believe in your values no matter what other people say. Stoic ideas like keeping your feelings in check, finding the truth and acting wisely. You can deal with rumors in a balanced and reasonable way by staying true to yourself and not caring what other people think. With these tips, you can handle the problems that stories cause with poise and strength, protecting your honor and peace of mind. Number eight, when confronted with injustice. Stoic philosophy teaches us to deal with life's problems with fairness and inner strength. This is especially important when we have to deal with unfairness. Epicurus, a wise man, said, bear and forbear. 
This maxim tells us to not complain during hard times and to forgive others for their mistakes. This theory became very clear when Nelson Mandela fought racism in South Africa. Even though Mandela spent a long time in jail and could have become angry, he came out as a backer of peace and unity, showing a deep strength. Not only did Mandela not stand by and let injustice happen, he chose to work on healing and unity instead of getting even. This choice shows a key Stoic principle. We have the most power when we decide how to respond to things that happen in the outside world. What would happen in our own lives if we did what Mandela did when bad things happened to us? Could we choose to be understanding and kind even when it seems impossible by not saying anything when bad things happen? Marcus Aurelius said in his writings that the best way to get back at someone who has hurt you is to not be like them and not get into a fight. Instead, he said, you should build a spirit of healing and forward thinking. A whole country changed how it thought about justice and peace because of Mandela. His life shows us that silence is not a sign of weakness. Instead, it can be a powerful tool for change and a sign of personal integrity. This stoic way of thinking doesn't mean passively accepting injustice. Instead, it involves a strategic and principled silence that gets us ready for positive action. It's about keeping your peace and using calm to come up with thoughtful solutions that deal with wrongdoing and help everyone move toward a better future. Let us remember Mandela's quiet strength as we deal with both small and big wrongs. His legacy shows us that the deepest reaction can come from being still, which helps us lay the groundwork for adopting this can lead to meaningful change and a better, more successful life. It can also help with personal and community problems. Conflict makes our lives more peaceful. Everyone has to deal with unfair situations at some point. If you want to be a Stoic, you should do so with calmness and knowledge. The ideas of Stoics like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus can help you figure out how to handle unfair situations, keeping our attention on what we can manage. They stress keeping your cool and responding logically. Do not lose your cool and pay attention to your inner state. Marcus Aurelius says that you should keep your cool no matter what is going on around you. To do this, you can do things like deep breathing to keep your feelings in check. Being aware and meditating. You can only change how you respond to other people's actions. Accept what you can't change. Make sense. Think about what you're going to do before you do it. Think about what you should do next. The best thing to do is to try to understand what happened and figure out why it was unfair. This can help make things easier and might even lead to a way to solve the problem. Don't get back at people. Getting back at people out of anger or hate only makes things worse. Try to react in a calm and reasonable way. Think about your values, no matter what. Always stick to your principles. Let your actions be based on your core beliefs and principles. Moral being honest. Make sure that your answer is moral and supports your honor. Show others how to deal with unfairness with honor and respect by the way you act. Look for answers that will help you. Thinking about how to solve the problem instead of focusing on it, go into the situation with the goal of communicating how to make it better. If you want to find a fair answer, talk to the people involved in an open and honest way. If you can, Try to make changes to the system that get to the root of the unfair situation. Take a moment to reflect on what took place and what you can learn from it. Growth as a person. Think of it as a chance to become a better person and get stronger for the future. Get ready. Learn the skills and facts you need to handle similar situations better in the future. Remember to stay calm, act clearly, and stay true to your ideal look for helpful solutions, and learn from the experience when you face injustice. 
If you follow these stoic rules, you can handle unfair situations with honesty and kindness, turning them into chances to grow and make things better. Number 9. How to handle insults with stoic wisdom. If someone is able to provoke you, you should understand that your mind is involved in the provocation. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, said this. This maxim should wake us up every time someone insults us, and it also gives us a deep way to deal with insults. If we want to know how to respond, this insight tells us to be quiet and understand instead of getting angry. People insulted and fought against Mahatma Gandhi in his fight for Indian independence, but he didn't respond with anger or insult. Instead, he chose to be quiet and understand. Gandhi thought in a high or pacifist way of life that is similar to the Stoic way of life. As a result of staying quiet in the face of physical and verbal attacks, Gandhi's enemies were often less dangerous and the public rallied behind his cause. How might taking a similar stance when you are insulted change the way you interact with others? What could you gain by keeping your cool instead of responding with words when someone attacks you? You give yourself room to act with purpose instead of impulsivity. This stern exercise not only helps you stay calm, but it also makes you look like a boss who is better than everyone else. Marcus Aurelius said, the results of anger and grief are much worse than the things that made us feel those ways. As you go about your daily life, think about this. What could this stern silence do for your life? Could it be the key to a better, more successful life? How might your actions change the way other people deal with problems? We've looked at the nine most important times to accept conclusion. To find peace and understanding, Stoic advice has shown us how to deal with talk and loss in silence. In honor of Marcus Aurelius' wise words, let us practice the deep strength that can be found in silence by choosing when to speak and when to listen. This will help us live a peaceful, happy and kind life. Feel free to use these Stoic principles in your everyday conversations and see how the power of thoughtful silence can make your life better. If you liked this deep and useful talk, please click the like button. Write down your thoughts and distribute these deep intellectual ideas to all individuals you know. If you want to learn more about Stoicism that will help you grow, please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next lessons.